This is the Coach Calhoun Show featuring Fairmont State University men's basketball head coach Jared Calhoun. The show is presented by Little General and Valley Distributing. All right, Coach. Well, first, welcome home. Uh, great to be back in, in Fairmont, I'm sure. And there was a game on Saturday over Charleston that you said was uh, maybe your biggest win here at the university. Uh, tell us about that. Well, Joe, I think we're at a crossroads. You know, it was a game we really needed to win. Uh, we played an exceptional team. I think Dwayne Osborne is as good as coach uh, in this league as there is, does a great job, and battled through a lot of adversity. It was very similar to the first game. Uh, a lot of runs, uh, a lot of momentum changes. And in the end, our last six, seven minutes, our kids really, really responded well. It was another game that it just seemed like the blueprint for you guys is starting slow. Uh, a lot of times you have, uh, you're trailing at halftime and then that second half comeback. And Saturday was no different. You guys were down 13 at one point, uh, but were able to uh, find a way to kind of come back there. Yeah, we're, we're definitely a second half team if you look at our stats. I'm not sure the reasoning for that. Uh, but if you also look at it, we played very well early in that game. Uh, got out of the gates, had a lot of energy, uh, and then they responded. Charleston did a great job of responding in the second half to start the second half. So I was very, very happy with our effort the last six, seven minutes. Uh, again, it was a game that could have went either way. So that's why I said it was a, uh, probably a program win, a win that uh, hopefully uh, can be a pivotal win in our season. We talk so much, almost every single week together, we talk about uh, Harney and and uh, the other guys, you know, Morris, and for good reason, Wimbush, for good reason, because they obviously lead your team. But Saturday was a little different, wasn't it? It was those secondary guys. Chase Morgan played really well. Uh, Brandon Vega played well. Uh, Sham as well. Um, you need guys like that to have big efforts if you're going to pull up. Yeah, I think if you look at college basketball, it's such a long season. Uh, you're going to need different guys uh, second semester here stepping up. I think we're seeing that. Sham Godwells is playing uh, very, very good. Uh, had 19 points. Chase uh, was phenomenal. Comes in the game, gets 13 out of 14 at the line. Uh, he's been in those situations. So at the end of the game, we got him the ball. Uh, I think as a team, we felt very comfortable with him going to the line uh, and need to make a couple, and he did. Uh, before that, on Thursday, obviously, you were at home at the Renton Arena. Uh, you beat a Shepherd team that was uh, kind of a strange team in this conference. You know, they're dangerous. They score the basketball a lot, but they've been, uh, you just don't really know what they're going to bring out on a nightly basis. And all of a sudden, you know, you, you were, it was so hard for you guys to win at home in the first semester. Now I've taken care of business here in this place. You won four, four or five in a row now. Um, in this building. Yeah, I think, Joe, a lot of it is our fans. Mm -hmm. uh, our kids are really, really uh, feeding off their energy. I thought the crowd was great again uh, in the Shepherd game. Shepherd's a very, very difficult team for mm -hmm. us to play against because they're skilled. Uh, they're a motion basketball team. They never stop cutting. Uh, skilled basketball team. So uh, to get a win against them uh, was, was huge going into that Charleston game. Yeah. So now we sit down here, uh, Coach, and Fairmont State's the hottest team in the MEC. You've won four in a row. No other team can say that right now. Um, do you feel like you're in the driver's seat now at this point and where you guys want to go? Well, Joe, I don't think we're ever in the driver's <laughs> seat uh, as a coach. I don't care if you're uh, one of them all and you got four left, you're going to be uh, you know, trying to get your guys to respond. Mm -hmm. But I would say we feel uh, confident. Uh, there's a little bit of a swagger. But at the same time, you have to be leery. There's still 10 games. We have a lot of work to do. We're only sitting at 12 and 6. Yeah. Uh, very, very good lead record right now at 9 and 3. Uh, but we're a game back. So I would hope our guys are still hungry. Uh, and understand these two games coming up this week are, at home are very important. All of a sudden, it, things, it seems that things are really tightening up, especially at the top of the conference in the NBC. It looked for a long while that, that West Liberty was going to run away with it. Glenville State was playing really, really well uh, for a couple of months. And now, you know, in a matter of two weeks, things have really shifted a little bit. We're well, you know, Joe, I think what happens in these basketball conferences, everybody beats up on one yeah. another. And I think our league is no different than you see at the Division One level with a lot of the bigger leagues there. Mm -hmm. uh, this league is very, very good. I think it's the best league in our region. I think it's better than the PSAC. I think it's better than the CIAA. Uh, there's five, six, seven teams that are really, really good. There's four, two or three, maybe four other teams that can beat you on any given night. Uh, that's what makes the Mountain East Conference one of the best Division II conferences in the country. All right, let's get down to business. Thursday, uh, a game against West Virginia State, a team that you played. Had your hands full with them uh, the first time around. I know it was a couple of months ago down in Charleston. Um, you know, obviously they're sitting uh, towards the bottom of the league, but what do you expect uh, from them there this week? Well, Joe, our two opponents this week, uh, starting with West Virginia State, uh, they can really score the basketball. Uh, Marquis Mazie's one of the best yep. scorers in the Mountain East Conference. 
uh, does a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. So we've got to dial in on him. Uh, but they also have some other guys. Dominic Phillips can score the basketball. Uh, they've added a couple transfers at the break. So, you know, West Virginia State, very well coached, and they're a dangerous basketball team. You know, with, with uh, when playing last week, a couple of teams for the second time, and again on Thursday you'll do the same thing against West Virginia State, against any opponent really. How much different is it playing a team for the second time where you can see yourself uh, on film against their guys? I think it's always harder, Joe, when you win that first game. Uh, but in these two instances, we didn't play real well uh, the first time around. Yeah. So I think our guys respect uh, all our opponents at this point. We haven't had too many blowouts in this conference. You don't see that very often. So you've got to bring it every single night. But I think you go back and you look at the tape. Their team is so much different than when we played them the first time with Marquee back and added a couple kids at the break. We're playing a whole totally different basketball club, mm -hmm. and I think our team's different, Joe. I think we play much better defense. Yeah. We have uh, better ball movement. So I think you'll see a whole different game. One thing that's becoming a habit for you guys, and it's a good habit, is, man, are you guys starting to take care of the basketball. It's, I think, the third straight game you've had 10 or less turnovers, uh, which obviously it, right then and there is a catalyst to winning games, isn't it? Joe, that's been the uh, number one difference. Everybody says, well, why was your team struggling so much the first 10 games? That's probably the number one reason, number two being injuries. Yeah. Uh, but anytime you can take care of the basketball, get high percentage shots, uh, our guys are doing a great job. It's not just our point guards, uh, it's the entire team. With a little bit more focus, I think one in each and every game has helped us. All right, Chase, obviously a very, very big win on Saturday. You, you take down a red-hot Charleston team, and you – have maybe your best game of the season uh, to, to add on top of it. 20 points, you led your team. Uh, talk about that game and what just such a huge victory it was for you guys. Uh, yeah, it was huge. You know, uh, We go over all the MEC standings and stuff, so when mm -hmm. we uh, looked at it at the beginning of the week, we said if we could get these two wins, you know, that would help us tremendously mm -hmm. to where we want to be at the end of the season. You know, We got the first one, and um, just coming up to Charleston, you know, we let one slip here. So in the back of – definitely was in the back of my mind just – remembering how we lost and just remembering that feeling we had in the locker room and just how we should have won. And, and then we get to that game, you know, we hop up on them early and then they cut it to four at halftime and they come out of halftime blazing hot. Uh, you know, we were down 13 at one point with about 10 minutes to go and it never crossed my mind one time that we was going to lose the game. Mm -hmm. um, I just think as a team that we just had our backs up against the wall and we had to come out swinging. I think that's what we did and uh, we got the win. It was huge for our program and huge for where we want to keep going. You're starting to see a little bit of a trend here for you personally, and it's a good one, is that you're starting to play some of your best games against the best competition. You played very, very well uh, the other night against West Liberty, obviously a very good game at Charleston. Do you feel like you kind of step up for these big moments like that, or do you oh, try, to, try to keep every game the same? Absolutely. I mean, I try to keep every game the same, yeah. but, you know, when you're playing West Lib or Charleston <laughs> or whoever, you know, it's just yeah. in the back. I've been here for four years. I've been in the, well, the Weeby Act for one year in Mountain East right. for three. So, um, you know, beating my West Lib only one time, you know, I really wanted to beat him again. You mm -hmm. know, we got there on Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to break some hearts up there. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think um, when we play just one of those teams that mm -hmm. is in the upper top of the league, you know, it always gives me a little extra motivation. I think it does for the team as well. Because you know, not only do I play well, but I feel like the team as a whole plays a lot better. Yeah. And especially when they see me come out with energy and making shots and doing – things right, you know, I think that helps boost the team's momentum and that just carries us throughout where we want to be. Can you explain the comfort level right now at all? Is it just a, a good good stretch for me? Uh, for me personally, yeah. the team? Um, you know, I, I don't really think about it like that, really. Mm -hmm. um, I just take it game by game. You know, my shot feels really well, you know, but there's not a time when I shoot it that I don't believe it's going to go in. Mm -hmm. I feel like just as somebody that makes shots and shoots the ball, you have to have that mindset. and. Uh, you know, just when I get out there, I just want to play and have fun. That's the main thing. If you're not having fun doing what you love to do, then you're probably not going to do it very well. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is just coming down to the last stretch of games mm -hmm. for me as a senior. And, uh, you know, I hate that it's coming to an end. I just want to leave it all out there more so for the for the team and for the fans of family because they're very important to me. And I just always want to put my best effort out there for them because they're the ones that pay to come watch the game and sit in the seats to watch me play. And, you know, that just that's a big thing for me. That's what I think about before I take the court. Tune in to TimesWV.com on your computer or mobile device every Thursday at 7 p.m. for a new episode of The Coach Calhoun Show presented by Little General and Valley Distributing.